Every day, Raju goes with his dad to Jogger's Park for a 6 kilometers jog. Now, let us observe one day of his jog. Raju carries a stopwatch with him. So, his dad observes that he starts his run at 7 a.m. He starts his stopwatch and starts running. After completing a lap, he stops his stopwatch and observes that it took him 30 minutes to cover 3 kilometers. He resets it and starts running again. After completing the second lap, he again observes that it took him 30 minutes to cover the 3 kilometers. Whereas Raju's dad observes that it is 1 hour now, that is it is 8 am, he took 1 hour to complete the entire 6 kilometer jog. So what we observe is that day 1, lap 1, the first lap that he ran was 3 kilometers, that was the distance. If we look at the time which he took, he took 30 minutes to cover this 3 kilometers. That is, if I want to write this 30 minutes in hours, so it would be 30 by 60. That is half hour, half an hour it took to cover this 3 kilometers. 30 by 60 which is half, half hour. Now, if you want to find the speed, we know speed is distance by time. So, let's find his speed, which would be 3 by half, 3 kilometers is the distance, time is 30 by 60, which is half hour. So, dividing the 2 I get, 3 divided by half, which is nothing but 3 times 2, reciprocating this, which gives me 6. That is, his speed is 6 kilometers per hour kilometers hour. So, his speed in the first lap is 6 kilometers per hour. Now, let's look at the second lap which he took. Second lap was exactly the same. He took again to cover that 3 kilometer distance. He took 30 minutes. Now, 30 minutes is same as 30 by 60 hours which is equal to half hour. So, he took half an hour again to complete that same 3 kilometers distance. So, if I want to find the speed, speed again would be distance by time, which would be distance is 3 kilometers by time, which is half an hour, because this 30 by 60 is nothing but half hour. So, we can find the speed. So, speed turns out to be again 6 kilometers per hour. So, what we have observed is, that in day 1, the first lap that he ran was at the speed of 6 kilometers per hour. The second lap 2 was at the same speed, 6 kilometers per hour. So, the speed is not changing. The speed is the same. It is the constant speed. So, we can say that he ran with uniform speed or constant speed. That means that the speed does not change. There is no increase or decrease in the speed. It remains the same. It is the same. It is uniform or constant speed. Or I can say that the speed for day 1, so lap 1, lap 2 both were at the same speed. So I can say that the speed for day 1 was 6 kilometers per hour, which is what his dad has had observed, that he was doing 6 kilometers in 1 hour, from 7 to 8 in 1 hour he ran 6 kilometers. Now, let's look one of the other days of his jog. Again, his dad observes that he starts the run at 7 a.m. and he starts his stopwatch as soon as he starts his jog. After completing the first round, he observed that it took him only 20 minutes to complete 3 kilometers. He resets his stopwatch and continues jogging. For the second round, it took him more time. He covered the second round, that is 3 kilometers in 40 minutes. Whereas his dad observed that 
he took one hour again he came back at 8 am that is he started at 7 came back at 8 to cover 6 kilometers that is he covered 6 kilometers in one hour now let us find his speed for each lap in this day also so let's say this is day 2 so the first lap was for 3 kilometers he took only 20 minutes to cover this round so 20 minutes means 20 by 60 hours which is 1 by 3 one third of an hour so we get this time is one third of an hour so speed is distance by time so speed would be distance is 3 kilometers by time is 20 by 60 which is nothing but one third of an hour so 3 by 1 by 3 hours so we get that speed is 9 kilometers per hour so th- speed is 3 divided by 1 by 3 which is nothing but 9 kilometers per hour so his speed for lap 1 is 9 kilometers per hour now let's find his speed for the second lap now let's look at lap 2 for day 2 now again he ran 3 kilometers so distance again is 3 kilometers this time now he took how much time did he take to run this 3 kilometers he took 40 minutes this time so time is 40 minutes again i can express this time which is in minutes as time in hours so i divide by 60 which gives me 2 by 3 hour so 2/3 of an hour now again to find the speed what i need to do divide the distance by time so speed is distance by time which would be 3 by 2/3 what is this 2/3 time is 40 by 60 which is nothing but 2/3 of an hour so this is speed which is 3 km by 2/3 of an hour so dividing this this is 3 divided by 2 by 3 or i can say this is same as 3 times 3 by 2 so this is 9 by 2 so i get this as 9 by 2 kilometers per hour so 9 by 2 is same as 4.5 kilometers per hour so his speed on day 2 for lap 2 was 4.5 kilometers per hour so what i observe is for day 2 for the first lap his speed was 9 kilometers per hour for the second lap the speed is 4.5 kilometers per hour now what can i say as the speed for day 2 we see that the speed is not remaining the same the speed has decreased so when the speed changes or does not remain the same we call it as non uniform speed or variable speed since the speed is varying that is it is not remaining the same it is variable speed or we can say it is not uniform non uniform speed now when the speed is non uniform or variable what do i say what is the speed for day 2 now that is the question how do i find the speed for day 2 is it 9 or is it 4.5 what is the speed for day 2 well to find speed let's stick to the basic formula how we calculate speed that is distance by time speed for day 2 would be total distance by total time so we know he ran lap 1 and lap 2 2 laps so we'll find the total distance and we'll divide it by the total time he took to run these two laps now the total distance is the first lap that he took was for 3 kilometers the second lap that he took was again for 3 kilometers so the total distance is 3 plus 3 which is 6 kilometers divide by total time now for the first lap he took only 20 minutes plus for the second lap he took 40 minutes so we get that total distance is 6 kilometers and 
total time that he took is 20 plus 40, which is 60 minutes. Now, 60 minutes is equivalent to an hour. So, rather than this 60 minutes, I can write 1 hour. So, speed for day 2 would be 6 kilometers by 1 hour. Or I can say it would be 6 kilometers per hour. Now, this is what his dad had found. He had run. His dad had seen that he started at 7 a.m. And he finished his run, complete run by 8 a.m., which is 1 hour. And in one hour, he had taken two laps. That is six kilometers. So this is his speed for day two, which is six kilometers per hour. And this speed is what we define as average speed. We call this speed as average speed. So whenever the speed is not uniform or the speed is variable, we find the speed as total distance by total time. And we call this speed as average speed. Now remember that average speed here is 6 kilometers per hour which is what his dad had found. Now remember that this average speed is not actually the average of the speeds. The speed for first round, the speed for second round. So this average speed is not the average of these two speeds. That is 9 plus 4.5 by 2. It is not equal to this because this would actually give you 6.75 kilometers in an hour whereas you know that his dad had found that he had run only 6 kilometers in an hour. So this is wrong. He, he did not run 6.75 kilometers in an hour. So you can clearly see that if you find average speed like this, this would give you a wrong answer. So average speed is total distance by total time and not the average of two speeds. So remember this. Remember that average speed would be total distance by total time and average speed is not the average of speeds. Though looking at this word it seems it's the average of speeds but remember it is not. It is not the average of speeds that is it is not S1 plus S2 by 2. So now can you answer this question? We need to find the average speed. So we know average speed is Total distance by total time. So total distance in this case would be 6.75. Total distance is covers first 220 kilometers. 220 kilometers plus next 100 kilometers. So total distance is 220 plus 100 kilometers which gives me 320 kilometers. That is the total distance and we need to find total time also. So total distance is 320 kilometers. Now let's find total time. Total time is for the first 220 kilometers it took 3 hours. So 3 hours plus for the next 100 kilometers, it took 1 hour, so plus 1. So 3 plus 1 hours, which is 4 hours. So we know total distance now, which is 320 kilometers. We know the total time, which is 4 hours. So to find the average speed, I just need to divide total distance by total time. So average speed would be? Total distance which is 320 divided by 4. So 320 kilometers by 4 hours. So this gives me 4 8s are 32, 80. So this is 80 kilometers per hour. So this gives me 80 kilometers per hour. So remember that average speed is not the average of speeds. Average speed is defined as total distance by total time.